Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to yet another Seaman update. Hopefully, this one will be interesting. And I seem to be uh, seem to be picking up a little bit of a cold. Either that or having allergy problems, so my voice may sound a little funny. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Four days have passed since you last visited the laboratory. At the moment, the habitat contains two cadmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Alright, so not much there. <clears throat> Still waiting for Seaman to become a frog. That, that should happen very soon. It's really cold in here. I'm really cold. Turn the heat up. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm really cold. Turn the heat up. Can someone put the heater on for me? Please? It's really cold in here. We know, we it's know, too we cold know. in here. I'm cold. I'm speaking English, right? Turn up the heat. Yay! 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 It's about time. Oh goody! T -t -t Took you long enough. Hey! Hey. Greetings. Just one word, greetings. That's kind of boring, see, man. I just wanted to say something. Hmm, it looks like the spider is gone. He's not there in the corner anymore. Yeah, so that's all for maintenance work on the sea pan. He's warmed up and we have spray in the insect cage. That's all there is to do. That's all I have been doing for the past what, few weeks or a month. <laughs> of course, I've only been checking him periodically. Hello? 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 What do you need? I have a question for you. Hmm. You see, watching you every day like this, I see you come and go to and from work, in and out of the house. It's kind of like observing apes must be for you. Each monkey has its own lot in life, set of rules to follow, and it follows them regardless of how it feels at that moment or what it might rather be doing. Of course, it can be rather comfortable for me to relax all day, but then again I still get antsy and crave things which, due to my physique, are impossible to accomplish. I have to admit that I envy you somewhat, that you may be so productive and make differences within your own culture, but I know that the grass is always some other color on your neighbor's lawn, so to speak, so I'm really curious. Are you happy with your job? Uh, yes. That's great. 
and certainly an indication that today's society may not be as messed up as cynics seem to preach. What is it about your job that you like the most, then? Um, the people? Yes. It's very important to get along with the people you have to spend most of your days with, isn't it? I think that's true of any profession, really. It seems as if a career can be a very important thing to a person, and I really think that's good for your society as a whole. And if people do what they love, then their output will no doubt be worlds apart than if they don't. Even some humans get a little carried away with, with work and forget their individualities. But if you look at, say, ants, for example, they are not defined by their selves, but their missions in life, often to gather food, and that is their career, so to speak. You are all one large purposeful machine, whether or not you realize this day by day. If you get stuck doing something you're not fond of, then the machine becomes creakier and eventually collapses. This is why I believe that each worker must truly enjoy the work she or he is set out to do. It seems as if you've accomplished this for the time being, and that is a wonderful thing. Keep at it and you can learn many new things, explore many different paths to your success. Well, anyway, it was nice chatting with you. I'll be seeing you around then. Hmm. Is that all he's going to say? I mean, that was a long conversation, but... Just that one session, maybe? Hmm. Anyway, though, as for careers, um... Yeah, I guess I'm... Content with working at Walmart, for now. Um... I mean, they gave me a job when no one else would. Of course, I don't plan on staying here forever. I mean... I do need more money, like everybody else, and Walmart right now is not giving me a whole lot. I, I need more if I want to support myself independently and start a family. So I still have a lot of work to do in that area. But for right now, though, to get my foot in the door, you know, I think this is, this is okay. You know, I'd rather be doing this than, you know, making french fries or something. But that's just my opinion. Alright. Let's see if he says anything else, and if he doesn't, then I guess this will be a short update for tonight. What's up? You know what really chaps my hide? Yeah. It's how the English language is set up so that you never get a straight answer. For example, you might say, This is one of the tallest buildings in America. But what does that mean, one of the tallest buildings? There is only one tallest building, correct? This is very confusing to me. Well, that's true. No, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, now he's done? <laughs> that, that doesn't make any sense. What's up? Not much. Really? Okay, well I guess now C-Man is done. Although, can't really end on a... It was pretty random what he said there about the uh, English language, but... Talk? No, I'm done for today. Yeah, I guess he is done. Alrighty, well, whatever. I guess... I guess that'll do, pig. Alrighty, guys. Well, then, I will see you in the next update. Once again, I hope by then he is a frog, because it is about that time. This is going on for a while. 
Alright guys, well I will see you next time. You all sleep tight.